Uh, my name is James Kennedy, and uh, I'm head of neuroscience research at CAMH and uh, co-head of brain and therapeutics in the Department of Psychiatry at the University of Toronto. Pharmacogenetics is using the genetic blueprint of each individual person to determine for that individual what the best drug is that they should be treated with. Based on the DNA blueprint, we can determine uh, the person's tendency to have side effects that other patients might not get, like with an antidepressant, uh, some people have terrible insomnia or they have weight gain. Uh, and there's genetic factors that predict those side effects. So we would direct them to another medication to avoid those side effects. The other area is response, per se. So over weeks that a person takes an antidepressant, uh, they can uh, respond very well. You know, complete recovery in five weeks, that would be a great outcome. Others, they uh, march along for five weeks, six weeks, seven weeks. They're taking the pills as instructed, uh, but they don't get better at all. So, um, previously, clients were subjected to this trial and error method of writing prescriptions. The doctor has, you know, 25 different antidepressants to choose from. And the patient would end up with side effects. Uh, they wouldn't respond to the medication. Weeks and weeks and weeks would go by. They're suffering. Uh, that's bad. So if the doctor gets the genetic report and they avoid the uh, genetically determined uh, drugs that are not good for this patient, uh, the patients uh, get better faster uh, in terms of their response. They also uh, feel better about a medication being given to them based on some scientific knowledge as opposed to more kind of guesswork, which is what has been in the past. Uh, what's changed is the technology in the lab. The machines can uh, analyze the DNA much faster now in 2014. And so we can get results back to the doctor on the second uh, business day after the um, saliva sample has been taken from the patient. This uh, testing process uh, is just, you know, uh, fill out a form very quickly. Uh, and the patient um, uh, does the saliva test in, you know, one minute. Um, and the tubes snap shut and put in a bag and um, it gets sent to the lab. It's all very uh, easy. Uh, we have a high throughput genetic testing system in the lab, so uh, that happens, you know, over a few hours, uh, and then uh, the results are checked, uh, and then we email them back in this format of uh, red, yellow, green. The, this idea of making it simple for physicians, uh, you know, they don't want to look at the genotype and then go to another place and see what that genotype does versus the other genotype in some complicated chart. Uh, that takes a long time. Doctors don't have a lot of time usually. So we do that for them and we create this very simple red, yellow, green system uh, which is, you know, stop, caution, go. And uh, the doctor can just look at the colors and in the colored boxes are the names of the drugs that are good to go for that patient. And in the red box are the drugs that, you know, are not a good idea to use in that patient because of their DNA blueprint. Uh, they don't have to dig into all the little details of this gene variant versus that gene variant unless they want to. And they, there are links in the form, the electronic form. They can learn as much as they want about all these variants and we tell them what, you know, this uh, the sort of genetic uh, lingo in terms of what variants their patient has. And they can Google that and look that up if they want. Uh, so it's very user friendly. And if the physician wants more information, that's also, we, we create a pathway that they can do that if they so wish. Uh, some studies have been done 
in the state of Minnesota using a test similar to this in depression patients. They also tracked uh, the number of doctor visits, uh, the, the cost of medications, they tracked uh, the, the uh, days lost from work for a depression patient, uh, they tracked disability which would have been funded by either an insurer or the, a government agency. So if you take that patient and uh, give them the gene-guided medications or switch them to a, a green light medication, uh, and you follow them over a year, and you compare them to a similar patient who didn't get the gene guidance. Uh, if you add up all the savings from less doctor visits, better outcome with the patient, patient gets back to work, uh, doesn't sit at work at their desk uh, and do nothing because they're depressed, uh, they're productive at work. Uh, you add up all those benefits. Uh, the number that was published was uh, $5,188 in savings for that one patient over one year uh, following the um, genetic test and the, the change to a gene-guided medication. So if you multiply that by, uh, you know, in Ontario, roughly 5% of the Ontario population is, has a significant uh, major depression at any given time. Uh, and, you know, almost half of them will fail their first medication. Uh, but so let's say in round numbers, there's 100,000 patients at any time in Ontario that could benefit. So you multiply that 100,000 by $5,000 you know, you get $500 million in savings over one year. Is We have now uh, given the, these test results to over 2,200 uh, patients. We are in the process of showing all the benefits in these large numbers of patients. Uh, and we've definitely shown some early important things. First of all, the feasibility. We can get the saliva from all clinics all over southern Ontario into the lab relatively rapidly and we can get the DNA uh, typing done in one 24-hour period and then we can email the results back. So we've shown that all that works very well. We've surveyed uh, about 200 physicians. Overwhelmingly they think the test is easy to use. They think it's helped their patients a lot. Uh, they don't find it too complicated or difficult to understand. Um, and they think, in their opinion, that, you know, it'll become the standard of care at some point in the future. Uh, you know, developing new discoveries as well as delivering it to physicians and the patients. So um, we're taking this opportunity to put that together into a two-day course uh, to share it with uh, physicians uh, and other allied health professions and uh, to try to get the message out of this new opportunity for improving health care for patients.